Like millions of other Americans each year, Taylor recently discovered she had a plantar wart. Hoping to avoid missing her next soccer game, Taylor went to the pharmacy where she bought some topical acids, which she used for a few weeks. This didn't work, and the wart has now spread and seems to be getting worse. Taylor missed her first game of the season. Seeking more advanced treatment, Taylor went to her primary care physician, where she got three cryotherapy treatments over the next six weeks and kept applying the acids at home. Still no better. Still on the sideline. She was then referred to a dermatologist, where she received a variety of treatments ranging from injections to blistering agents, taking an afternoon off work each time and driving up her insurance bills. More downtime, more bandaging, and once again, more frustration. With no progress in sight, she seeks out a nearby podiatrist offering laser therapy, which seems promising. After three treatments, finally a ray of hope. The laser seems to have killed them off, and then three weeks later, their back. All hope is lost. Because she hadn't hit her deductible, her total out-of-pocket was over $1,000, and she was still left with her wart. She hadn't played soccer in months. By this time, Taylor felt like giving up. Until something changed. Taylor's story is not unique. 90% of all patients surveyed will have experienced two or more failed treatment regimes prior to seeing a specialist for their warts. It is this frustration and fatigue that compels hundreds of patients each day to pay out of pocket for swift versus traditional reimbursed therapy. If you or someone you know is currently suffering with stubborn warts, speak to your healthcare provider about swift. Swift, let's do things differently.